Two weeks have passed since the earthquake. This is the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. We bring you a live view 20 km from 20, 30 kilometers west of the power station. The tower at the very left is right above the number one reactor, and towards the right we go on to nuclear number two, number th reactor number two, number three, number four. And steam, white steam is seen rising from reactors one, two, three, and four. Good morning. This is NHK Ohio Nippo for Friday, March the 25th. The very grave situation continues at TEPCO's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Yesterday, three workers there were exposed to radiation and it has been found that the water that caused this exposure was of a radiation level 10,000 times the concentration of, a, of the water in a react nuclear reactor in operation. TEPCO says that it believes that nuclear fuel is damaged, causing radioactive substances to leak out. This TEPCO, excuse me, a nuclear industry safety agency official says that the workers were working in the basement of the turbine building and they were exposed to radiation. The three workers were working in the turbine building of the number three reactor. In the basement, they were laying out cables. They were working in wa water 15 centimeters deep and were exposed to radiation levels between 173 millisieverts to 180 millisieverts. This official says that the concentration of the water that they were working in was very high in terms of radiation. The power company examined the water that the workers stepped into and found that the, amount, the radiation level was 3.9 million becquerels per cubic centimeters, which is 10,000 times the concentration of the water in an active nuclear reactor. They found per one cubic centimeter of water, 2.2 million becquerels of cesium-144 and 1.2 million becquerels of iodine, radioactive iodine-131. None of these substances exist in nature and can be produced and are produced through nuclear fission. TEPCO says that probably the fuel, fuel in the reactor was damaged, causing radioactive materials to leak out. Tokyo Metropolitan Government has lifted its advisory against giving tap water to infants under the age of 12 months. The level of radioactive substances in tap water decreased to a safe level on Thursday morning. Tests of Tokyo's water on Tuesday and Wednesday found radioactive substances exceeding Japan's safety standard for babies. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government advised people in central and western parts of Tokyo that infants should not drink tap water and that it should not be added to powdered milk. But on Thursday morning, the level of iodine-131 decreased to 79 becquerels per liter, 
lower than the 100 becquerel safety standard for babies. Measured figures can always fluctuate, but there is no problem with temporarily higher levels if they stay within the legal limit. We will continue to make publicly available the results of the water testing, so I urge the public to stay calm. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government will deliver another 240,000 bottles of mineral water to families with infants on Friday, as some parents are worried about the health of their babies. Radioactive material has also been detected in five other prefectures around the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Iodine-131 has been detected, and the substance is not found in nature. Experts believe it was carried by the wind from the plant to surrounding areas and then washed down into rivers by rain. Ten days or twenty days, the radioactive materials will go to the ocean. So it will be much of it will be out of the daily necessities of the people. Professor Murano says people should not overreact when they see small changes in levels. But he warns that if more radioactive substances are emitted from the nuclear plant, the impact of the radioactivity will continue for some time to come. I'm throwing them away because I cannot ship them out. I have never imagined that the damage would be this grave. The farmer in Tochigi Prefecture says, and this is the shelter of the evacuees, can we go home in one month or three months? Just give us the ballpark figure. He's appealing to the staff members of the TEPCO. The troubled nuclear plant is said to be emitting and spreading the radioactive materials far and wide. Good evening. Earthquake and tsunami devastated the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Explosions and fires further damaged the reaction number, reactor number one to four. The situation for the past two weeks on the ground is very fluid and unpredictable. Workers are scrambling to restore the cooling system to cool the fuel rods and spend fuel rods. High level of the radiation is detected in the air, seawater, ground, foodstuff, and tap water. In addition, diffusing and spreading the radiation contamination has been scaring many people. This unexpected situation raised anxiety among the local people. I didn't pay attention to this. I cooked rice with the tap water. Now I'm very worried. Where the active substances were found in the village water supply system. The supply water is taken from this river. The villagers are proud of this pristine, tasty water. That the village who lived near the coast now live with them. Now, 20 people live together. These relatives include a four-month-old baby. The family has now another cause of concern. I'm worried because this goes into our body. I want my children to eat safe food for their future. The environmental contamination is not limited to water. It was reported that radiation of 1,006 times 600 times higher than normal was measured with soil samples. This is a farming and daily farming village. Problems with water and soil can be critical. 
with the planting season approaching, the villagers are shocked. We are very sorry about these high levels. We feel we are in a labyrinth. We never expected this. Why has this village outside of the 30 km radius stay indoor zone sustained such a serious impact? Professor Matsuharu Hoshi of Hiroshima University, who studies the Chernobyl nuclear accident, says that radioactive substances diffuse unevenly. Contaminated areas appeared in spots, other areas were contaminated very little in Chernobyl. I think this is true for Fukushima. Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says that three workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant have been exposed to radiation. They were in the basement next to the number three reactor at the noon on Thursday. Two were standing in water that was possibly irradiated. The workers were inside a turbine building trying to connect tables to restore the reactor's cooling system. Officials say the men were exposed to between 170 to 180 millisieverts of radiation. The official radiation exposure limit for workers is 250 millisieverts, which was raised by the government from 100 millisieverts shortly after the earthquake and the beginning of the power plant emergency. The submerged area was contaminated according to the report. So the water itself may be contaminated with the radiation. The three workers are in their 20s and 30s. They were immediately taken to hospital and have been transferred to a special radiation treatment facility at a medical center in Chiba City near Tokyo. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Of the six reactor buildings, lights in the control room for the number one reactor building were switched on for the first time since the March 11th quake. Tokyo Electric Power Company says the lights were turned on at 11.30 a.m. on Thursday. The lights are now working in the control room of the number three reactor as well. Earlier on Wednesday, Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency said the injection of massive amounts of water raised the pressure inside the number one reactor containment vessel. TEPCO cut back on the water injection early on Thursday. <laughs> Yesterday, the temperature of the core of the number one reactor rose. Further cooling efforts brought the temperature down, but the pressure has gone up. However, this is not an immediate problem. It is important to maintain these efforts to cool the reactor while keeping an eye on the pressure. Video footage from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant shows what appears to be steam or smoke rising from four reactor buildings on Thursday morning. The footage was shot from an NHK helicopter at around 7 a.m. on Thursday from a distance of over 30 kilometers from the plant. For the first time, what appears to be steam can be seen rising from the number one reactor building. Smoke or steam can also be seen rising from the buildings of the number two, number three, and four reactors. Tokyo Electric Power Company says work to cool down a storage pool at a reactor building in the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has been resumed. On Wednesday, black smoke was seen rising from the number three reactor building. Work was suspended on restoring the cooling systems of reactor buildings one through four. TEPCO says at 5.35 a.m. on Thursday, the black smoke could no longer be seen. The TEPCO official says that at around 5.35 a.m., they've started injecting seawater using the reactor water cleanup system into the number three reactor's spent fuel pool. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency said on Wednesday the radiation level near the reactor building had not changed since the smoke appeared. The agency says the cause of the smoke is not known. Workers had made progress on Tuesday night when lighting was restored in the number three reactor's central control room. Electricity to the plant had been cut since the quake on March 11th. On Wednesday, TEPCO was preparing to test the water pumps for the number three reactor, but operations were halted when the smoke caused workers to flee. Planned water spraying operations at the reactor building were postponed due to the smoke, but specially converted pump trucks were able to spray water for three hours at the number four reactor building. <laughs>